Hello, Froggy here, and I've been working on getting out of map in Cradle Descent and uh, Cradle itself. So, for Cradle Back Descent, you want to keep going until you find this little branch hanging down. If you're on Let's interference, you'll have to backtrack a little bit. From here, just climb up the branches, and you'll be able to get out at the top. There's actually quite a few different ways you can do this, so this is not the only hole. I like jumping up through the crack here, just because it saves a lot of the messing around. This interference. I can't triangulate a point of origin. Keep going. Maybe the signal is better up ahead. From up here, you have a choice of going either to the left or to the right. If you go to the right side, you can backtrack all the way back to Oasis. You can see that's the area that we uh, start off here. And there's this handy wall here. And this is solid, though you can't really go too far to the side before you hit the wall. And you can see the regular map back there. So, if there's any hope of actually getting here from the regular patrol area, we'd be coming in through here. Although, without Quantum Finisher, I don't particularly see that as likely to happen. If you go to the left side, it's easier to make progress forwards towards the cradle. Unfortunately, because it is Io and we have these walls here, it is quite a pain to navigate. A lot of the times they'll be mostly invisible with most of the surfaces cold away. Once you get uh, a bit closer, you'll have no choice but to go underneath. And that's where it gets quite troublesome indeed. It's basically a labyrinth where you can't see any of the walls. You can go left on this structure in front and go around a ways, but if you try to drop underneath, you have a very narrow window to sword fly in. So it is quite a pain. I was exploring there with Jay the other day, and he managed to get all the way to the Cradle Descent load. It involved circling around a lot of these walls and finding the gaps in between them. In the end, there was only a single wall between us and our goal, and I eventually managed to hit the load zone, but unfortunately, I hit it too close to some map geometry and the load killed me. However, there is some good news. Goal Senpai spotted that there was a, uh, a handy rock. I found that we could super through it. Right before you enter where you would encounter the tree, you can jump up on these blights and then jump up on the edge. As soon as you jump, there's this, a, uh, a turn back, so you'll want to stay low. And you can slide into this little hole and super. You don't need Code of the Missile, but it does make it a lot easier. If you go without, you'll want to have your mobility as high as possible. Slide and then spam, jump, and you have just enough time to make it. Once you're here, you can explore the area. There are some holes in the ground that let you get out of the map entirely here. But 
as of now, I haven't found a way to drop down into Sabathun's court. I'm skeptical that that will be possible, but... Maybe. Just maybe there'll be a way. As you drop, the lighting will change to what it would be in Sabathun's court. Well, have fun exploring these areas, and hopefully we'll make it a bit further.